GPT 4.0 is insane, folks. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. In this video, I'd like to share a few videos that shows the capability of GPT 4.0. So this GPT 4.0 to me is a game changer. It's really mind blowing when you see its uh, capabilities, and I believe this is probably will become a new flagship for OpenAI. So much power when we when we talk about AI or artificial intelligence, the human side of AI. In this example that you will, you will see shortly in the videos, you can see the human side, the human sides of AI, at least in the way it communicates with us. Okay, so let's start with the first example here. So this is what I wrote down. What do you see? Oh, uh, I see. I love ChatGPT. That's so sweet of you. <laughs> yeah, well, I really appreciate Okay. <laughs> it's so kind of playful, a bit flushes as well. Okay, so let's look at this one. Hello, uh, my name is Nach. I'm here with my coworker. Hi, I'm Shil. I'm trying. This one actually, this example shows the power of this GPT 4.0 for language learning, for learning language. Okay. I'm going to teach my coworker how to speak in Mandarin. We want to start from simple words like ni hao. Can you teach him how to pronounce that? Of course. Hey, Nacho. Nice to meet you. Ni hao is pretty straightforward to pronounce. It sounds like ni hao. Just make sure to keep the ni part high and then go down and pitch on the how. Give it a try. Ni hao? Ah, that was great. Really. Hmm. Okay. Let, let me show a few more examples, but this one from the website. Maybe the audio not very uh, good. Okay, this is actually showing how GPT 4.0 act as a tutor, and it really it guides the student step by step, and it's like a, a real human being um, guiding the student. Okay, so let's play from here. Looking at the triangle. Which side do you think is the hypotenuse? Um, remember the hypotenuse? I'm not totally sure. I think, I think it might be this one, but I really am not sure. This side AC. You're close. Actually, side AC is called the adjacent side to the angle alpha. The hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle and is directly opposite the right angle. Can you find uh, which one is the hypotenuse? Oh, okay, I see. So um, I think the hypotenuse is this really long side from A to B. Would that be correct? Exactly. Well done. Now that you've identified the hypotenuse... I'll just post a video there. But I hope you can hear clearly the interaction between the student and the GPT. GPT 4.0. It sounds very natural. It, it doesn't give the answer directly. It just kind of nudge the student, give the students or guide the students step by step towards towards the answer. And it probably very passion, more passion than the actual human tutor. Okay, that's one. So let's look at another one. This one, uh, translation. How we can converse with someone in different uh, languages back and forth. Okay, let me just play. Hey, ChatGPT, I'm here with my coworker today. Um, we'd like you to act as our translator for us. So every time I say something in English, can you repeat it back in Spanish? And every time he says something in Spanish, can you repeat it back in English? Sure, I can do that. Let's get this translation train rolling. Um, hey, how's it been going? Have you been up to anything interesting recently? Um, hola, ¿cómo te ha ido? ¿Has hecho algo interesante últimamente? Hola, bien. Uh, sí, un poco ocupado aquí preparando un evento para la semana que viene. Hey, I've been good. Just a bit busy here preparing for an event next week. Can you tell me anything about it? That sounds really interesting. ¿Me puedes contar algo sobre eso? Suena realmente interesante. I just post a video there. 
you get the idea. Back and forth in English, in Spanish. And the GPT-40 basically translating back and forth between the two languages. Can you imagine the power of this? Using this for communication, traveling, and, and so on. Very powerful. Let's look at another example here. This one, uh, this one is more fun example here, where the GPTO is asked to sing a birthday. Yeah, let's hear this video. This is Poland, and this is my friend Jordan. Can you guess what we are doing here? Hey, Bowen and Jordan. Hmm, let me guess. With that cake and candle there, it looks like someone's having a birthday. Are you celebrating a special day or just finding an excuse to eat cake? Either way, I'm intrigued. That's correct. Today is my friend Jordan's birthday. Yeah, you got it. I was hoping that you could sing me the birthday song. Of course. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Joel Warden. Happy birthday to Jordan. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Don't forget. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's like, sounds like, really, sounds like a, a real human, right? The voice, tone, the reactions. All right. I don't know how to describe it. But let's look at another example here. Is how GPTO react to the image of the dog. Okay. I want to introduce you to somebody. Hello there, cutie. What's your name, little slough ball? This is Bowser. Well, hello, Bowser. Aren't you just the most adorable little thing? Yeah. Look at you enjoy. This is one of his favorite things to do. This example is specifically to demonstrate the vision, the ability, the vision ability of GPT-O, which currently ChatGPT 4 Plus have this ability, but this one take it to the next level, the next level in terms of the interaction, in terms, in terms of the, nat the natural sounding kind of voice reaction. There's a emotion. So we are talk we talk about AI having an emotion. So this is a good demonstration of the emotion part, the emotive part of GPT 40. Okay, final example that I want to share with you. Hey John GPT, how's it going? Hey there. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. And how about you? What's I'm, up? I'm doing fine. Uh I'm gonna be a father real soon. Uh, and I think I can have your help with some dad jokes. Um I'm going to tell you a joke and you tell me if it passes as a dad joke. That's awesome. Congrats on the upcoming addition to your family. And absolutely, I'd love to hear your joke. Lay it on me. All right. What do you call a giant pile of kittens? I don't know. What? A mountain. <laughs> a mountain. That's perfectly hilarious. Definitely a top tier dad joke. All right, so I think that's probably enough. Several videos that I've shown you just to demonstrate to you the various things. There's, there's more. But basically, this gives you a quick kind of overview of the insane features of GPT-40. And uh, I believe in the next few months, we will see more crazy, crazier kind of uh, things that it can do that blurring, blurring the boundary between artificial intelligence and the real human intelligence. All right, so that's all for a quick overview about GPT-4.0. Uh, there are many videos now also on YouTube. You can watch uh, more kind of uh, in-depth coverage of GPT-40. Uh, I think it's not all the features are available yet. Uh, I haven't tried. So, and um, it will be made. It will be made available for free, I guess. 
for all users, but for ChatGPT 4 plus users, they will have access to more uh, insane features of GPT 4.0. Okay, thank you so much. I'll see you in another video.